This is how we used to go to work. You'd wake up, get ready, leave your house, catch a train, and go to your office. Now, it's a little different. You wake up, and you're at the office. The work from home revolution isn't just a trend. Three years in, it's still here. And while that's causing all sorts of repercussions across every kind of industry, it does raise one very important question. What are we gonna do with all the skyscrapers full of empty offices? I'm here in one of Europe's biggest financial capitals, but this city, like so many others, is facing a massive challenge. Its commercial skyscrapers are emptying out and it's seeing unprecedented vacancies. But I'm about to show you a building that may have just solved that problem. I'm heading to work, and using this app on my phone, the building has already recognized me and called me an elevator to take me straight to my office. I'm just arriving home, where an elevator is already waiting to take me up to my apartment. But this isn't two separate buildings. I'm actually in the same skyscraper. This is Omniturm Tower. Apartments and offices are accessed through completely separate lobbies and the two never meet, despite using the exact same elevator. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but because of this, this building is adaptable to whatever the future needs it to be. Think of the building like a bookcase. The floors and elevators are the shelves, they don't change. But what's on the shelves does. The books can be moved around. The shelf that houses autobiographies can become thrillers or young adult. Whatever the library needs it to be. It's the same with this skyscraper. Offices could become apartments or hotels, whatever they need to be. It could be anything, and that makes it an incredibly efficient use of space. And that's how Omniterm has been designed. Built in 2019, it's the first skyscraper in Germany with real multi-use. And it could become a blueprint, not just for our future skyscrapers, but for the tens of thousands of skyscrapers that already exist today, extending their lifespan and saving them from wasteful and costly demolition. And that all starts with this elevator system. But before we talk about how that's possible, let's zoom out a bit and look at why. Office vacancy rates vary around the world, but London's purpose-built financial district, Canary Wharf, is facing its highest office vacancy rates since 2005. It's such a challenge that the area is having to rebrand as Canary Wharf 2.0, building new residential towers and focusing more on science and retail instead of purely commercial. Meanwhile, over in New York City, there are also record high vacancy rates. They've grown more than 70% since the start of the pandemic. In fact, right across the US, the office vacancy rate is nearly 20%. And it's all happening at the same time as a national housing crisis. We have too many offices and not enough homes. Frankfurt's US-like downtown is also facing this challenge. Companies no longer need or can support leasing enormous office space over hundreds of stories. In order to survive, Frankfurt's office towers have had to become mixed use. They've had to be repurposed, but that's not an easy task. One of the biggest challenges of creating a truly mixed use skyscraper is actually the kind of elevator system it has. Think of it like the spine of the building. It's incredibly important, but it can also take up a lot of space. Traditionally, elevators are located in the core of the structure. In a single-use skyscraper, like a traditional office building, these elevators would service every floor. And in very tall buildings, express elevators would be used. If half of that office building were to become apartments, a new elevator shaft would have to be installed to cater just to those apartments, or the existing lifts would have to serve both. This is inefficient. It slows down the flow of traffic and would make the people living in the building feel like they're living in an office. Even traditional mixed-use buildings have this efficiency problem. If a building has multiple purposes, those elevators are often restricted to just that purpose. Say if you had a skyscraper with offices on the bottom, apartments in the middle, and a hotel at the top you would most likely have three distinct lobbies and three separate sets of lifts. 
It also means the core of the building gets bigger and takes up an enormous amount of space on the floor plates. Now, that's all well and good when a building first opens, but it restricts its ability to adapt over time. The elevator shafts in Omniterm are different. They're designed as part of an approach Schindler has called Schindler Metacore. It's essentially a system that maximizes efficiency from the moment someone enters the building. Omniterm uses the same elevator shaft for both its offices and apartments. Using a digital network, the elevator visits both lobbies and can serve every floor. It also means that if someone lives on one floor, the lift can be programmed to go from there straight to the office, gym, or anywhere else in the building. We are doing it with the same elevators. So uh, by definition, that's efficiency. You're using less elevators to uh, going all through this. This dramatically reduces the size of the elevator shafts, freeing up letterable space on the floor plate that can be used for other things. We'd like to build a multi-purpose use building. That means it's not only commercial spaces here inside or office spaces in, in this case, it's additionally apartments, so residential. We said, okay, that's cool. Um, where will you build it? Upstairs, downstairs? No, in the middle. The elevators that serve the offices had to serve offices both above and below the residential section. So the traditional mixed use elevator system wouldn't work here we started creating the concept with these eight elevators in one crew. We used two of the eight elevators by adding them an additional door on the opposite. So we are serving the whole building with the different purposes, with the same elevators, but you to the second lobby, like the residential lobby, you don't even experience that. You just see the elevators. You're entering from the opposite side and then you're entering into the residential floors. It also means that the building can change and quickly. If office vacancies continue to climb, then those offices could easily be converted to apartments and the lift system would work seamlessly. A hotel could be added with an additional lobby. It's a blueprint, let's call it like that, for future skyscrapers because it simply allows you to interact of the actual, let's say, market requirements. If there's a requirement for more office spaces, you can easily adapt. If there's uh, the requirement for more apartments, you can easily adapt. I'm now in one of the elevator machine rooms at the very top of this skyscraper, around 200 meters above Frankfurt. It might not look like much, but machines like this make our skyscrapers viable. Schindler Metacore can also be used to adapt older skyscrapers so they can be easily repurposed. In some cases, without having to rip out the existing elevator shafts, but by simply adding an attachment. The simple function of its elevators dictates what a skyscraper can become. By changing just this one aspect of tall building construction, we can open up a much wider future. And in a world that's seeing constant change, that's exactly what we need. Our buildings should adapt to suit us, not us to suit them. This video was sponsored by Schindler. You can learn more about their elevator systems at the link below. We're raising awareness of construction's mental health crisis and supporting charities in this space through our Get Construction Talking initiative. There's a video series on our channel and you can find support or donate over at getconstructiontalking.org. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, from the channel that takes you to the very top of Europe's skyscrapers, hit that subscribe button.